Are we live? <laughs> I laugh because this is actually take two. I had technical difficulties earlier, so we're doing this again. Praise. Welcome back, my friend, to another worship moment. I'm glad you're here. I'm excited to worship together. Just a couple things before we start. So number one, I'm creating these moments of worship for one of two reasons. The first is to invite you into a time of worship with me. And it also kind of gives you a little peek into how I would worship the Lord on my own at home. So keep that in mind when you're watching. Although I think if you are already a Christian, then you would understand what I'm talking about. If you don't and you're just viewing this, you don't know what the heck's going on, you might find it a little weird and kind of cringe that this girl is like crying her eyes out for her Jesus. Well obviously it's going to seem that way because the posture of your heart is not to worship, it's just to kind of speculate. And if that's what you're going to do, by all means, give me the views, okay? Give me the thumbs up or even the thumbs down. Give me the engagement if that's your perspective and how you want to view this. But for the Christian who loves Jesus and loves to enter into worship and loves to worship and just perhaps maybe you had a long day. Maybe your kids drove you a little crazy. Maybe you're in university and the exams and the homework is piling up. Perhaps you are a stay-at-home mom and you just need a moment to yourself. If any one of those things apply, any one of those things at all, this is for you. This is for us. And ultimately, this is for the Lord. So these are for the believers. These are for the Christians just to bring a sense back to what really matters and who really matters and who all of this stuff revolves around. It's the person of Jesus. And so I hope to, in these worship moments, invite you into a place of worship, invite you into a space of praise despite how long the day was, etc etc i mean these worship moments will be available to you to watch any time during the day day or night night or day but i have this thought that this can serve as something for you to listen to at the end of your day maybe you just want to have a moment with the lord and i want to help you enter into that whatever way i can and however way i can help lead you into that place of intimacy with jesus that's what i want to try and do now, this is for me personally. This is how I treat my moments alone with the Lord. And I would encourage you to do the same. And I don't want these videos to become the only way that you enter into worship. I don't want them to become the only way that you feel like you can enter into worship. No, you need to be diligent and you need to be a good Christian and create that atmosphere for yourself because that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm not trying to replace your personal time off camera, off social media, off of YouTube that you should be creating alone, on your own, at home. So with all of that being said, let's go for it. Tonight's song is All Is For Your Glory by Miss Laura Hackett. Y'all, <laughs> I have a number of songs that I say are the melodies of my life. They kind of paint you a picture of how I view God, of how I think God views me, and this is one of them. Laura Hackett just has a way. Okay, Laura Hackett is a worship leader. She's been a worship leader for the International House of Prayer. She's been there for years. She's amazing. And the way that she writes, is, it's like poetic. And all is for your glory, it just takes the emphasis off of us. And I love that in worship songs. I'm like, no, I don't. Just, just talk about him, just put the emphasis, just talk about how great he is and how good he is and I'm not opposed to the other songs. This one just brings me to that place where I know my place and I know he's much higher and much greater than me. So it's a little wordy but it's so beautiful and if you can just catch it, I think you'll love it. Whether you love it or not, it's not the point. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave the lyrics in the description enter in with me okay so father thank you for being here i acknowledge your presence in this tiny little room i acknowledge that just as much as you're here with me you're with my friend wherever they are whatever time of day it is we recognize that you are lord over our lives over our finances our money our kids our parenting our marriage our house everything that we own you are lord and forgive us when we've exalted 
all of this other stuff above you where we've given ourselves over to idols whether we know it or not holy spirit do your thing amen
grateful king you would have preeminence. The first of all, the first of all these things, God. So put me anywhere and put your glory in me. And I'll serve anywhere. I just have to see your beauty. Won't you open up our eyes? 
in all things Forgive us when you haven't been first in all things mm -hmm. Forgive us when you haven't been first When you haven't been preeminent When you haven't been first love Forgive us God Forgive us Lord Thank you that you forgive us. We receive your forgiveness now. And we say that all is for your glory. And all is for your name. And all is for your glory. That in all things you would have the first place That in all things you would have preeminence in one time That all is for your glory Everything is now That in all things you would have the first place. That in all things you would have preeminence. You would have preeminence. You would have. ultimate satisfaction. Thank you for being that. Thank you for being all that we need. Thank you that everything we need is found in you. And Lord, just as the song says that all of this, all of this is for your glory. All of this is for your glory, Lord. There's one chief end to man's purpose. One main reason for existence. All of our vain and high ambitions will one day be brought low. Oh my God. Bring them low now. Bring all of our high ambitions. Bring all of the things that we place before you. All of our idols. Bring them low now. Bring them down now. In the name of Jesus. May the kingdoms in our heart be broken and torn down now. In the name of the Lord. Tear them down now. Bring them low now. Make the high things within us that we've built and made for ourselves be brought low now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you for doing that, Lord. Thank you that we can even pray that. And thank you that by faith we believe and I believe and I trust that you're going to do it as we center our attention. And remember that all of this is for your glory. And in that we trust that you will, like the scriptures say, like the scriptures say, the high things would be made low and the low things would be made high. So make the important things, make the essential things to our faith and to our walk with you be made high. Your things. Help us to be done away with it. Anything apart from you is less than. Because you're all, we, you're all we want, Lord. You're all we want, Jesus. Our God, our delight. Our God, our joy, our delight. Just like the song says, above.
Father, thank you so much for your presence. Thank you so much that even if I had to re-record this again, you still met with me <laughs> even stronger. Despite my voice cracking a few times, I'm still thankful that you come and visit us anyway. <laughs> Bless my friend that's listening in, that enter into worship with me. And Lord, may you be lifted up in all things. Because all is for your glory and all is for your Y'all, that was rough, <laughs> but it was good.